The best digital interface. This comes in the form of a question from Wojtek in Poland. He writes, Hi Paul, love to watch your daily show. Why thank you sir. Even my girlfriend, who's not an audiophile, enjoys watching it with me. Ah. So <laughs> I wonder why, when designing a DAC, engineers include multiple digital interfaces, but most often only one of each kind. So, for example, only one SPDIF and one TOSLINK. One of them is significantly better than the other, isn't it? Does having more inputs degrade the sound quality, or does it make the product much more expensive? And finally, why do we still have various digital interfaces like SPDIF, TOSLINK, AES-EBU, I2S, USB, instead of just one, the one that provides the best possible quality? Well, I think that's really good. And of all of those that you mentioned, I2S is the one that provides the best quality. I2S is what is natively running inside of a DAC or inside of a transport or inside of a CD player. It is the native format. I2C is all the control stuff. I2S is all the signaling stuff. It is the, the ultimate way to connect and run digital audio. So that's the one that you want if you had to do it. But given that that ain't so, so let, let's talk about why and, and all of that. First off, the obvious answer to why back of our DACs, we've got TOSLINK, we've got COAX, we've got XLR, AES, EBU, USB, is because we need to be versatile enough because we don't know how you're going to hook it up. Computers have USB. That's their universal serial bus. USB is the way that computers, that's their standard. Um, you, you'll see, you know, like app, uh, Apple now has that, that little C, but that, that's USB 3. Um, what else? Uh, I, I mean, it's just the way it is. If you're going to get audio out of a computer, you're going to use USB. And USB is a two-way communication. It has its ups and downs. It's my least favorite transmission method for a whole bunch of reasons, but computers are a fact. I mean, they're a way of life. That's, that's the way it is. Um, if you have an older product that you have only Toslink, your television, I can't tell you how many people buy our Sprout or our inexpensive DAC and want to connect their television up. Well, how do televisions connect up digitally? Optical, Toslink, that's the only way that they send out digital audio data. You know, we're hardly going to call up Samsung and go, that's not a very audiophile thing to do. They'll go, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> um, not not going to happen. So, I mean, the bottom line is I2S is, is the way that you'd want to do any of those. It's just not practical because you've got computers and televisions and older products that all have to somehow be accessible and connect up to a DAC for it to be anything reasonable. Is it expensive? No. Those connectors are cheap. The, uh, 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 an XLR connector, I don't know, we use gold on it, buck, buck and a quarter, something like that, cheap. Um, coax, couple bucks. It, it, it's a toss link, a little bit more expensive. Uh, the HDMI connector that we use for I2S, uh, again, not that expensive. So I don't think it's a big deal. Um, it doesn't change the sonic qualities having all those connectors. It's a bit of a pain in the butt making it, but eh, that's life in the big city, right? All right. I hope that answers your question. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Mm -hmm.